Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to another Who's That Indie. Today's indie being Sleep Tight or One More Night. Yeah, Sleep Tight or One More Night. Just me quickly checking out. Interesting enough. So, very basic game. I actually was really looking forward to this one because of the aesthetics of it. You are a child and you're building pillow forts and nerf gun defences to fight off the monsters that lurk under the bed. Now this game is available on the Switch and Steam and I'll be honest, it definitely feels like it was done for the Switch and not for Steam because there's a few things on it. Anyway, I've played the first one this character. There's about 30 characters in the game, each one starts with something different. The first character has 18 waves to test it out. This one I've done one wave, this one starts with a gun. And there are four things around the base. So, this one here, I can get my defences. This one here, I can buy my ammo and my guns. This one over here is my research station. As you can see, all four things. And this one down here is my power-up and health. So first of all, let's see, I've just unlocked nothing. So, you get stars for every kill you do at night. And you get suns for surviving every day. You get eight suns regardless of what you do, although you can upgrade it here, like 120 through 75. So you need stars to basically upgrade. You need suns to do upgrades and build things, and also buy ammo and stuff like that. So let's first of all get basic light turret down. Now there's only. <sighs> Oh, so to actually start the level, you have to spend all of your suns. There we go. Oh, God. As you can see, the enemies attack you from the edge of the room. This is the entirety of the map, this room. There you go. And they spawn from the edges you can't see. Ah. And they try to do try and kill you. So basically, as you can see... Uh, if they touch you, you take damage. If they touch your equipment, they take damage. You can repair your turrets. As far as I can tell, you can't repair defences. So, it's spinning itself as a um, twin stick roguelike with base building elements, but there isn't any base building elements. There isn't any at all. You can put down a turret or you can put down a wall. Now, I thought there might be more than that in there because it shows three different turret types, but no. The three different turret types and the three different um, wall types are. That's it. I, I can upgrade this to the medium turret, which is a machine gun, and the heavy turret, which is a rocket launcher. And that's it. There is no differences, look. As you can see, that's literally it. So, yeah, there isn't too much here to do, really. Which is a shame. I was expecting a lot more and how it built itself, but yeah. There you go. Let's put it down. And there's new enemies, like you get these runners. There's big ones, there's a few slightly tougher ones as well, but basically all the enemies are the exact same thing. Also, you have to actually pick up the stars. If you don't, they will slowly get smaller and smaller and disappear. You have to pick up the stars. Obviously, you get eight suns every single level, regardless of what you do. You just have to survive. And as far as I can tell, it's endless. Also, your turrets aren't really the best. But yeah, I like the idea of the game when I first went into it because of the aesthetics. I'm shooting a nerf gun, basically. And look, I have basically nerf defences here. We're shooting um, foam bullets at the enemy. I was like, that sounds so cool. You build pillow fort walls. But no, there isn't really too much to it beyond the whole initial aesthetics. Like, you can tell how the game is because you actually spin your character around. As you can see, it stays in one position. See that? There's no animation of moving around, it just spins. That's not major, but it's just a thing, you know. But yeah, you can upgrade your stuff, you can repair them, you can destroy it to get half the resources back. Obviously I can't upgrade them because I haven't unlocked the next defence yet, which is 110 stars, medium wall. So yeah, you slowly upgrade, but there's a few odd things upgrading too, like this. See this, you can't physically build in front of your turrets because you don't actually have the range. Like, whose idea was that? You can't put a turret in down and then build a wall in front of it because you don't have the range to put the bloody wall down. Look at this. Whose idea was that? You can't have it so that your range to put down the walls is bloody closer than the turrets. 
Because now I have to do this and it looks ugly. See? I have to go in front of it. And I'll be honest, that's a minor thing, but that's a massively annoying minor thing. I can't build defensive walls. Look. I have to go in front of my own defences. And that will annoy people. Like, I don't have to sell these, I just put them down. So instead I have to go in front of them and build a really awkward looking defensive wall. <sighs> also, you can't stand on these walls even though it looks like you can. With chairs, I've had a look, you can't. Look at this, that just looks ugly. Looks ugly as sin, this does. Am I trapped in here now? Yeah, now I'm trapped in here. Yeah, the turrets aren't the best. And you can't seem to upgrade the walls? I don't know, we'll have a look. But yeah, this is the entirety of the game as far as I can tell. All different characters, there are different weapons out there. Three turrets, which is the same turret but upgraded. Three walls, which is the same wall but upgraded. And your characters say really stupid things. Like, the kid you start off with is saying, like, um, cool kid stuff, like, it's so gravy! And it's peanut butter jelly jelly! Like, who says that? Who the hell says that? Don't teach your kids to say those things, that is irresponsible. But yeah. Because I jumped in expecting awesome things, am I trapped in here? See, I can't... Do anything with the bloody walls! I'm never gonna sell this! <sighs> See, there's annoying things. There's a f majorly annoying things. Like, that shouldn't be an issue. That should not be an issue I have to deal with. Not being able to sell my defensive walls, or not being able to put my walls in front of my turrets. But yeah, the enemies. There's a few different varieties. They do look. They definitely look unique. You can definitely tell which each one is. They do look completely different to each other. But the thing is, they all do the exact same thing. So not righteous. Obviously, if you die, you die. And you're obviously meant to take new characters and learn from your mistakes. But I don't know. I'm only taking damage. I'm just showing off how the game works right now. I just wanted to stand by the turret and let them shoot. But... Again, they travel and they shoot so slowly, the actual starting to it, so you can see, are pathetically bad. There's literally no point in having them apart from to upgrade to the next tier. Although you can just build the regular next tier on their own without, you know, waiting for that. Which I can't, we have to build an even turret soon. As you can see, the stars were slowly shrinking. This defensive wall looks horrible, I'm, I can't even get past this bit. Oh, start survived, okay. Okay, so let's... I don't know. Get medium turrets down. Upgrade you to a medium. Upgrade you to a medium. And there we go, we're done. Don't let me die. Nice try. Not tonight. So I don't have much health or ammo, so I have to hope for my turrets to save me. As you can see, they're more powerful. But they're still not the best shooters. Like, my basic gun you start off with can kill a single enemy in three hits, or two hits on the little ones. Obviously this one, it just takes a concerted burst. The trouble is, your turrets just aren't the best. You can still take a lot of damage, and you should be really, from defensive turrets. Am I gonna die? Might die. See, you're not doing anything. Okay, stay in this corner, I should be okay. There's yeah, one of the big guys. I think you'll do the same thing. The big guys just have more health. Okay, let's go grab some health. There we go, grab a bit of ammo. Go upgrade and we'll repair these things, repair you. And repair you, there we go. And we're done. Yes, that is the entirety of the game. Okay, things get tougher as you go along. 
Obviously you all trying to get as many stars as possible to upgrade your gear. And there are temporary buffs down below that can get extra damage or a temporary shield. So you do want to upgrade things like... You want to keep on upbuilding, but again, it's not... Insane. Might feel more awesome on the Switch. But I think what's letting me down is the fact that... Oh god. There isn't that many defences. And all the guns are... Oh god. Are basically the same. Like I can pick up a sniper, I can pick up a shotgun. There's also like minigun and stuff like that, but... They feel the same. Which is a weird thing to say out loud, because all guns technically feel the same, and they all shoot bullets, but they feel the same, oddly. Let's go, I don't know. Let's get the burst rifle. Let's put you as uh, second, uh, there we go. So can you carry two guns? So now I have a burst rifle. But I will be honest, you will hate the voice acting very quickly. I don't know who decided that Sassy Child. I don't know who decided that Sassy Child was the best way to go for the voices. But it's not the best way to go for the voices. Sassy Child was not the best way whatsoever to go for the voices. Like the initial kid. Oh my god, the initial kid. Yeah. See? I won't see if I can jump into the other one. Because obviously I've been playing a little bit longer with that one. Obviously not too far. But I'll see if I can. So it does seem to save your progress on each character. Ding dong. But yeah, you can't really click on so it's early access, I like to put that out. There might be a few things which I can't do like maybe you can click on that in the future version, just can't right now. But yeah, there isn't too much to it. I think I was going to put turrets everywhere, but yeah. You would want to put the walls down first, because you put the turrets down first. You know, you can't build in front of them. Major, major oversight. Yep, something in your teeth. It's just pain! I have to admit, I do like how the shadows work. You actually look at the floor, you can actually see where the enemies spawn, the shadows that actually are on them. Don't stop me now. Which is nice. See? Your burst rifle is pretty damn powerful, as you can tell. More powerful than the turret, really. The turrets are only useful in massive numbers. I can be hopeful that there's more than just one level, but as far as I can tell, there is not. Blood Moon. So Blood Moons are really powerful. Blood Moons are major continuous attacks. Get that. Uh, let's grab that so stars are worth more. Gain a sun, why not? Yay, I've always wanted a sun. Let's do it. As you can see, the enemies will be attacking... More. I mean, maybe. But again, it's not too. Obviously, it's going to get a lot tougher the further in you get, like higher waves. But by the first bit, it's not too tough. You can play like the first 20 minutes dead either. Which. I don't know. You need it to feel difficult and tough. Like, I'm also using mouse and keyboard. And I've played for what? Quarter of an hour now, of course, recording. And I haven't really felt like I've actually fought anything tough. Like, I've lost a lot of health because of my own build design down here, but that's basically it. It's not really, like, anything major. But yeah, I like the aesthetics, I like the design. 
I, there needs to be a lot more turrets, an awful lot more turrets, like, it even just makes sure the turrets can be upgraded to different designs. Oh my god. Hopefully, it's designed at a market for kids who love this style of thing. Because maybe they will. I have to say that, yeah, hopefully they will love it. I is definitely, I am not the target audience. I will never play this game again after I finish the recording. But yeah, hopefully the target audience is kids who will love this thing. Personally, it's definitely not me. How is you? Exit to main menu. Let's see how to get to the other character. Best use pairs of human shield and checking closet. So yeah. Play. New game. So as you can see, got two characters, that's it. So I got Joe, so it looks like I can't just go back and continue, it's a shame, but there you go. But as you can see, there's a lot of characters on the screen. Which you have to unlock. Like, I think I unlocked this character by reaching the blood movement, I can't remember. Just genuinely. Yeah. Like I'd love to be able to stand on these things, which basically look like you should be able to. Maybe you put a turret on it, so it looks cooler, but you can't. Like little things, like why can't I put a turret on the stool? A turret on the stool would look amazing. Ding -dong. But there you go. This is the entirety of the game as far as I can tell. Like I say, I hope it's designed at a different target, because again, I do not feel like I'm the target audience in the slightest. I love survival games, I love tower defense games. This is only just a tower defense. Like you can put towers down, but there isn't much to do, there isn't really anywhere to go, as far as I can tell. Maybe the other characters will have more exciting things. Like I say, this one's entire thing was she started with this gun rather than just the basic pistol. You know, the second gun you can unlock games it, so... Give you a basic head start, maybe the other ones are far more advanced. I'm taking hits, I'm not sure why. But yeah, that's entirely the game. Maybe it could become a different gun for the next one. Yeah, maybe it could become a different gun. But yeah, different types of enemies will appear. They are basically just the regular enemies, but they have a bit more armour. I don't know beyond that, I've probably done 18 waves. And so you can build tougher walls, you can actually put barbed wire on your walls, you can actually upgrade your walls to actually repair themselves every night. Or every morning, anyway. So the things you can do, look, there it is, there's another thing. So those are top attacking. They just do the same as the regular enemies, as far as I can tell. So you don't find anything special. Nothing like there's no random heals yet, anyway. But again, if it takes like 30, 40 minutes to get in to find the really special enemies, I would love to do that. It's a shame too. The game has good promise. I like the idea of building, you know, bed stuff, like literally pillows. Nice try. Not tonight. Not tonight, indeed. Maybe not tomorrow night, either. Oh well. Let's go to Gatling, why not? See, that's good. But again, it's just... It just feels like... It's just, just that. It doesn't feel much of a difference. There's no... The sound is similar, there's no real feedback. Your set's over, Bob. You just fire slightly more bullets at once. I think that means I was already killing using the uh, the burst rifle, so using an, an menu gun is just, you know, overkill. 
I'm saying you know I'm lost, and I really shouldn't be. I apologise for that. That'll do better next time. But yeah, I had high hopes. When they were dashed tremendously, because this is a very basic survival game. Like I say, once you get to the point where you repay, and this, this is a more tougher, larger enemy too. So they do change, like we're now fighting greener enemies? Because that was a heavily armoured guy, that wasn't the heavily armoured guy we were already fighting, but he does the same thing, he just has more health. Which isn't exactly what I was looking for. But there you are. There you are indeed. Anyway, this has been... So not righteous. This, that's the side one. So yeah, there's, there's, there's another enemy coming on I didn't really realise was the slightly tougher large enemies. There's no idle animation either. Like, they just stand there completely motionless and spin. Yeah, they don't bounce up and down, the hair doesn't move, there's no idling. The game, if you didn't play, is static. It is, it sounds odd. But yeah, if you play any game out there and don't move anything, there's usually some kind of motion. Oh, they, they're green running as well now. This one? It's completely motion. Look, if I stay still, spot the motion. Completely and utterly motionless. There's no idling. The turrets don't casually spin round. I don't blink. See? Nothing. Just me. There's only motion is when you move. There is no motion whatsoever. I can even see a random shadow go by outside, like maybe someone's riding a bike. So yeah. This has been sleep tight, although my recording software says one more night. So yes, it's been sleep tight. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's been a who's that indie. I wouldn't recommend it. That's just definitely not for me. It might be for someone else, but I wouldn't recommend this one, I'm afraid to say. But maybe it is for you. That's why I show them. To find indie games straight for you. First impression style. Either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. Ciao's for now, people. Bye-bye.